VirtuSphere is a new innovative technology that really is a locomotion simulator. And just to define locomotion, it doesn't have anything to do with trains, but the movement of people. The ability to be able to get inside and walk or run in a north, east, south, or west direction. It's a 10-foot sphere in its diameter and sits on a round base of 11 sections of uh, steel. So it's uh, affectionately nicknamed the hamster ball for humans. VirtuSphere could really bring a brand new experience. And again, not to keep going back, but also get, uh, to get some exercise. So I'd have to say, I guess, the state of the art really in, um, uh, in virtual reality is these goggles. Right? And now in the, in the video clip that you saw, you've seen goggles combined with something that is, what's the point? Now look at our rubric. What was the point of that, um, of the human, um, the human, what do you call it, um, guinea pig wheel? Right? What's, the, what's, the, what's the point of it? Can you see? The point of it is to give you input fidelity. To give you input fidelity specifically on the body sense and the balance and also to give you efficacy on those same things. You actually walk, you actually run, you actually turn. And VR machines, in addition to, um, in addition to this one, which allows you to move in space, all, uh, uh, they all detect your body posture and they, they detect what you're doing. Like if you move your arms up, that's all, there's, there's high fidelity in those behaviors. So that's where these goggles kind of systems are going is to be able, and the Wii, right? The Wii is a great example of one that actually detects your body position and detects your stance and, you know, could tell if you're slouching or not. Um, did I say the Wii? I, sorry, I meant uh, Kinect. Um, Kinect is a, is, a, is a virtual reality kind of input device, which is really nice because it doesn't require you to wear goggles. But on the other hand, without goggles, all you have is the, you know, is a video screen to, for, the, for, the, um, for the input. So what happens in these more advanced uh, virtual reality systems is that it compares an advanced, um, an advanced behavior or an advanced output effectiveness, or sorry, excuse me, it, compa it, it combines enhanced input fidelity with enhanced output fidelity. So you're actually walking around. There's high fidelity to the actual action of walking. There's high fidelity to the actual action of body posture. There's high fidelity on the input side to vision because of the goggles and to sound because of the headphones. Um, and even to things like balance and body sense. It knows as well what your balance and body sense is. So your balance is reflected back to you. Okay, so the belief there, um, you know, I think granted is going to be high. I'm going to really believe I'm in that environment when I'm walking around and as I walk, I move through the environment. And, and the immersion that they can get out of that experience is actually very high and it doesn't require a lot of practice. The kind of immersion you get from video games or even from Second Life depends on you getting so used to mapping a low fidelity behavior to a natural behavior that you forget that you're doing the low fidelity behavior. But what these goggleware systems do is they allow you to use your natural behaviors to get that same effect. So they're immediately immersive as opposed to systems that are immersive after you've used them for a while.